I'm like, okay, cool. And then I started working it and just plugging it and just like, okay, yeah. devices to use, different camera angles, different lighting sources, all of these yeah. things. Three different kinds of lights that you get, the main light and the phone light and a different grading of lights. Yeah. I was just deep in it. I'm like, okay, cool. We are actually creative. Yeah. This is how you're going to actually use these skills okay. now. And all of the different kinds of, you know, Applications that a person can use both on a big machine like a laptop mm. and also just from the touch of your phone. Oh. Some of them free, others paid subscriptions. Yeah. Right? Like, this is major. This is that's where I went to create my portfolio with Mercedes bits. So I was like, okay, while I'm studying, why not? Yeah. Just go to it. He's such a geek. <laughs> He's so knowledgeable and he's such a sweet, 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 sweet person. Oh my and um, you know what? I'm so excited. I, you know what? I'm very excited. Mm -hmm. I struggle to put words in my mouth. <laughs> you and I are I the same. Struggle. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm not so excited. Happy. I'm emotional. No, I know. I know. Yeah. You don't know. I nearly cried before. I, this. <laughs> I did, but okay. <laughs> Just because I'm happy to see you. Yeah, oh, okay, thank you. I'll tell you the story of how we met. Yeah. That's so funny. What's up, you guys? Welcome to the Uncovered Podcast. I hope you're all good. I'm good too. I'm your host, Simply Moni. Today, I have a fabulous guest, you guys. I have to introduce him properly because that was like <laughs> a ball of excitement right there. <laughs> so we're going to put it in order. Get it. Uh, on today's episode, you guys, I've got the awesome, the talent, and the, I have to emphasize talent because it's so, 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 so. Oh my gosh, I won't even end if I begin listing everything that he does. Wait, just wait for it, guys. My person, he is so knowledgeable, he is so friendly, and he is such, he has such a big heart, you guys. So excited for you to be here in the podcast. How are you doing so? Firstly, just an amazing honor yeah. to be here on the podcast. Knowing that we discussed this and we talked about it, it was just nothing but a dream and a vision. Took that vision and you made it come to life. To everybody, greetings. Yeah. My name is Tsideso, better known as Diso. Yeah. And it's just an honor to be a guest here on the Uncovered Podcast, just to share my experiences and my knowledge with you as a radio presenter, content yeah. creator, someone who's a sports enthusiast, yeah. working with brands, and just the entire journey on itself in just getting to where I am today and how I'm able to just come to be pushing my content yeah. further and be able to work with brands, be able to develop an association with big entities that are out there that many people would love to become yeah, a part of and actually work with. So ready to share and just give all of that knowledge, dish it out because I honestly just wish nothing but the best for anyone. I love seeing people winning. You it's, it's thing really with does. Me. I just honestly love seeing people winning. It's not just so when I see people winning, I'm like, yes! Mm. I, I, I hype people up. Sure. <laughs> yeah. But I, I just enjoy seeing other people winning. I mean, mm. um, for me, it's this thing of us getting envious of the next Yo. person. You know, I, I prefer them. How did you do it? Let me learn from you. Yeah, just yeah, take a page from your book. Mm. Experiences, because it's an emotional thing. It's a mental thing. It's a quite scary thing. Starting a YouTube channel, that's big on you. Your guest kind of content you're going to be putting out. It's not an easy thing to think of. Yeah. So that's big on you. Damn. Speaking of which, so Marin mentioned that you are a radio personality. You are a fitness coach. Yep. Fitness coach and fitness enthusiast. Fitness enthusiast. You are a travel enthusiast. You are a influencer. You work with brands. You. I saw you emceeing the other day in the videos. Like yes. You um, MC gigs. I do. I'm an MC as well yeah. at uh, big events. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. so you'd find me at a variety of events that happen in Cape Town. Yeah. Some of them are like groove kind of events where you'd have DJs playing and I'm the hype man. Yeah. Some of them are more formal with business. Hey, yeah. We are still chilling with ESO RSA. ESO RSA. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> My friend. Uh, before I forget, two minutes. Okay, let's tell the people how you met. <laughs> okay. The first time you met. Yeah. First time we ever met was yeah. 
we both attended a seminar at Orms School, oh, yes. of, the School of Photography. Okay. And they were just teaching about different cameras and yep. techniques. And that's when you and I met and we were just testing some of the cameras and yeah. then we looked at different lenses. But we both had an interest in that creative aspect of learning cameras and everything. And then we went further in Tokyo from that day. We actually found ourselves in the waterfront shooting content. The first day of meeting. Uh, if that ain't what, I don't know. Now we're looking for places where they're selling vegetarian <laughs> foods and everything. Yeah. Where to go and everything. Yeah. And then yeah. just immediately we just clicked. Found yeah. ourselves then. Yeah. You, you enrolled to study mm. at Home School of Photography. Yes. And if I enrolled went to doing the video production. And that's where I was like, wow. Yeah. So much about capturing sure. the video camera. Mm. Mm. And that's when I decided, okay, I'm gonna get a camera. And we found ourselves also out and about in Seaport shooting, shooting content with the phone, with the camera. The list yeah. just runs long. And ever since then, we've just been in touch and yeah. talking and everything. So, <laughs> yeah, we literally just met through having the same interest yeah. in something and finding ourselves just posing yeah. questions to the guest that was there. Yeah, and then. Studying. The so it's like two well. individuals who met through school. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, they yeah. found themselves going beyond school That's and it. just okay, passions of podcast yes. content creation, working with brands and listening. Fun fact guys. And then the alignment happens. Fun fact, if anybody was wondering, this podcast idea This guy is guilty. You're like you're the honorable member today. Like <laughs> Thank you for touching on that. He actually reminded me. <laughs> it was last year, man. Feeling shy, but okay. Oh, for real, for real. Yo, I remember. Yo, this was like, ah, put this So, to any guests who have been on the show, those are so good to have. I'm the reason she keeps on contacting people. Exactly. <laughs> good job. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, I'm blushing. <laughs> yeah, but it's true. Hey, um, it's very important to uh, meet people who are like-minded. Very, very, very important. It's certainly. Yeah. Right. And just important to ensure that who you align yourself with. Yeah. The thing of alignment is very important. Yeah. And it helps you actually go further. Mm. And it also brings about collaborations within our industry. The other thing about collaborations, whether yeah. it's the pros and the cons of collaborations, we go further as people. Yeah. The cons of it is that sure. people have this conversation of collaborations to be so uncomfortable because they are yeah. so much in their bag. Yeah. Hey. So True. I want to collaborate because I'm a designer yeah. and I need someone who could work as a model. The model's going to be asking me how much they're getting paid. Whereas trying to you know create a portfolio yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe i could instead of paying me something the outfits are designed they're yours to keep and you be someone who shares on your page with everything but we're so much in our bag that in our bag. it becomes Yo. so comfortable to actually have that conversation whereas you're a designer i could model mm. and have someone who's a photographer who needs yeah. to create a portfolio so a portfolio that works for you as a designer people see your outfits on me my portfolio as someone who is, for example, a model. Yeah. Now people are able to see this dude knows exactly how to pose for a camera. He's a photographer. People are able to see this person knows how to take pictures. We all winning and we're growing our profiles. But too much in our bag. Exactly. That's the one thing we need to change. Yeah. If you like someone's content and like what they're doing. Support. Take yeah. the time to support it. Share yeah. to your Instagram stories. Mm. Take the time to they reach out to you. Be yeah. someone who's willing yeah. to do it. Like, don't be too much in your bag about how much you're getting paid. Mm. With bigger brands, you could possibly do that. And even with bigger brands, just establishing a good relationship works yeah. more than anything else. Yeah. At the end of the day, you would be so surprised when they call you back. Mm. The gifting, mm. okay, gifting and in paid partnership. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's how it works. Sure. Don't be too quick to be in your bag. Uh -uh. You seem to be taking advantage of your to get paid. So many people they end up not getting into it and actually working with these brands again when they get the opportunity again or maybe they're looking for someone and they would have considered you but because of that kind of energy you brought at first. Yeah. 
It's a lot of things you have to think about. Yeah. We're also approaching. Wait, wait, wait. Before, before you carry on, I don't, I don't want to lose my train of thought. Yes. So, you work with major brands like Mercedes, as you mentioned, Sky, Adidas, Under Armour. <laughs> <laughs> and so many more that I can't even mention. Maybe you'll mention when, I, when you uh, answer. How did you get into it? Yeah. I built relationships in person. Oh, like you were saying. Okay, okay. So I went in person to oh. the places I personally like. Mercedes is yeah. my favorite car brand. My, my dream car is a Mercedes. But when I was doing my studies, I went there to create a portfolio and that's when I met the marketing director of the Western Cape of Mercedes Benz. Oh, you went there. So I spoke yeah, to her and she gave me the permission and the day I got there, they were allowing me to have everything that I possibly want in the house, you know, coffees and things. I was just there to work and I appreciated yeah. just being willing to help me build the portfolio. Yeah. And that's when she saw the positive attitude that I have rather me having to write anything to her. So I found myself being invited to these events where there's core car launches and I'm not someone who's like a automotive uh, content creator. Yeah, yeah. But as a creative, to have that relationship with them is big. So I found myself being able to be there, working with them, doing those things. When it came to Under Armour, a fitness enthusiast who enjoys working out, and I love the brand itself personally. So I went to one of the squad pods events, and that's when I found myself interacting with the influencers who are currently present in the oh. Under Armour. As well as one of the heads of Under Armour. When I attended the second event, yeah. instead of just attending for the sake of attending Maybe. and getting something free, yeah. I came there with the means of how do we make the event better? People come there and you know the first 30 to arrive are going to get a free good event. Yeah. But now you don't know who the first 30 are when they get there. So yeah. you created these tags that are acting as a number mm. where people can actually see these were the first 30 people to get here. So I found myself working with the team and now suddenly all of a sudden I have these links with Under Armour. Yeah. Okay, cool. And with other sporting bands, yeah. just to sum it up without being too long. Mm. One, DM them. Yeah. Telling them who I am. Mm -hmm. And when telling them who I am, yeah. just introduce the kind of content I do. Okay. Also make sure that my page and the content, the pictures are clear, the aesthetics yeah. match the brand aesthetics. as well. You can't be someone who approaches a skins cosmetic yeah. brand, but what you have on your timeline is your dog, your shoes you wore yesterday, and your fit for the day kind of thing. Yeah. And pictures are not saying everything. They're going to look at that and see does it match and work with them. And don't just, they receive a lot of emails per day and DM. So think about this. Hi, my name is Tsidi, so also known as Tiso, and I'm a content creator who'd like to work with your brand or have a review with your brand yeah. in exchange for gifting. And you're just writing the ordinary email or DM that they always be getting. Yeah. Versus, hi, my name is Tsidi, so I'm a big fan of oh, your brand. Someone who has done these tutorials yeah. with your brand, such as Sky Vodka, in terms of how to mix your favorite cocktail with different cocktails. I've done one Instagram reel on this day, I've done another tutorial where I give the ingredients of this one, I have another post. Yeah. Versus, I want to work with you, have gifting, versus, I've done this tutorial and this in the Instagram reel, and now they see it. Yeah. Which one has someone who's the marketing oh, yes, of the yes, brand yes, are you going to pay more attention to it? That's right. right. Yeah. It's the second one. Yeah. So you have to make sure you do those things. And the mistake a lot of creators are doing is they actually find themselves when they pitch to brands and we see a media kit. What's, What's that a media now? kit? What's a media kit? Whereas the media kit serves similar to a CV. Mm. The kind of work you've done or brands you've worked yeah. with. And when giving the media kit, do not include your rate card. Because you get a rate card that you get pricing towards how much you charge for an Instagram video, yeah. how much you're going to charge for maybe an Instagram story, how much for a video, different kinds of things. Yeah. So don't just give them all at once. And also don't be discouraged if they do say no. Take the time to ask what should you do yeah. to make yourself better. And at the same time, don't be someone who's in a rush to get a response. Yeah. Give them a week or two. 
and just find that it's yeah. a good thing you see because they receive hundreds of emails and messages from people yeah. you find on their contact list you get an email address these days they also have a website so you can go on google and find yeah, like okay, the website, this is yeah. the website you can contact with them the dm also is always good yeah. and if you know people specifically in that brand who are part of the marketing page who work with the influence even better in contact with them. Find out exactly how you get involved. Yeah. Also just help engage with the content as well. Be an mm. actual fan a of, fan of the, brand. the brand. Don't just go with Don't just go for the sake of no I want to be a content creator. Yeah. Be a fan of the brand. Exactly. Service. Yes. Service. Yeah. Service. Yeah. Service. 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 Sorry guys for the noise. <laughs> <laughs> we are at the... And it's a Rockefeller. You know? <laughs> they just play music and the vibe yeah. is to pick up. You know? <laughs> and I'm having such a great time. Guys, he's so knowledgeable. I'm sure you can see. I myself don't even have to do a lot of work because he's talking <laughs> and he's so knowledgeable. I don't have to ask a lot. They have he's questions, so, they can throw them at you. You know? <laughs> exactly, guys. If you have any questions, feel free. To comment down below if you have to comment down below or if you want to talk to him feel free to contact him it is at diesel underscore rsa yes, that's yes, across right. all social media platforms more than willing to answer all of your questions yes. currently even my own instagram my profile it looks like a mess <laughs> and it's, it's, it's not <laughs> trust me it's deliberate actually right now huh? okay maybe but <laughs> currently it just looks kind of like a mess but i want to show people what the yeah, post actually okay, looks like and what, okay. what you can do so i want people to learn the step by step yes, okay, so okay. when i'm posting something i'll post something else on my instagram so we're showing them exactly how they oh, how, how, okay yes right. and this so what can we expect from you going forward what you can expect from me is well recently become a big partner to a clothing brand where i'll be part to pass of a discussion that relates to gender-based violence so that's something big that's coming up that's there's major. a lot of projects i'm personally working with and working on as well this year yeah so you'll see me a lot in the fashion industry itself specifically Woo! Going to see me working very closely with these big, big brands that we've touched to the market and hit are fixed. Just Woo! they are the ones who managed to be able to just talk to yeah. them. Just, I attended the event as usual. I just attended it and the event. And <laughs> spoke to one of the brand managers. I spoke to her, Pearl. And when I spoke to Pearl, I just said I want to interview some of the guests because you're talking about mental health awareness. And I was just doing this in the background of being someone who's already presented. Of course, of course. But then she found it quite engaging. Yeah. I'm to be an individual who has a positive mindset to what I'm mm. doing. She pulled me on to many more events to a point where she made me a partner now and collaborating with them in something that's big that's coming up. So lots of radio coming up, lots and lots of more content also Love coming that. up. I love it. Oh, dear, so I'm so proud of you, my friend. I've told you like a hundred times. I'm, I'm sure you're tired of me saying it. <laughs> I'm so proud of um, you, and I am so blessed. And I think God knew, you know, when he was like, okay, uh, go to that uh, workshop. <laughs> you're gonna make this amazing, cool dude. I think he, he knew, knew with both of us. You know, he was like, ah, like one day we'll make a podcast. Because yeah. honestly, you, you praise me so much but you forget that how much of an amazing person you are yourself and that's why a lot of people gravitate towards your content and they share it so much on their instagram story i've seen the support because you find that it's amazing how people actually want you to win until you actually do win and then they start envying you you're not one of those people you share other people's content on your instagram story they share yours you are always the person who's supportive and not envious of other people who want to instead learn from them instead of the jealousy trait and all of those kind of things. Own that, you are an absolutely amazing person with a massive, just, just, just one of the big, biggest hearts. So I'm not the only one of the big hearts, she is it? as well. Hence why I was just a softie we get along. If you were lucky to catch it on her Instagram story, it's on mine right now. I've tagged her in it, she might share it, which I'm sure she will. Of course. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. Thank you so so much guys. Thank you, Diesel. Thank you for having me. Yeah.
Thank you. Oh, oh my god. Like Keep it locked for all the guys she's going to be having. This platform is going to be big. Be big. Big. Yay! From your lips to God's ears. We receive. <laughs> Thank you so so much Kiso. Thank you to everyone who's tuned in. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up, comment, hit that subscribe, subscribe button. Make sure. <laughs> and follow Jiso guys. We love you so much. Love you. Love you. Peace. <laughs>